Hi loves, so welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a full face of dupes. So I'm gonna do half of my makeup using all drugstore and affordable products. And we're gonna compare them to the high end side and see if they're actually dupes and comparable to the high end goodies. So grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it and have some girl time and test out some dupes. To start off, I already primed my lids with the Rare Beauty Eye Base and I used this on both sides. This is just one of my favorite eye primers ever. So that is the prep and now for High end, I'm gonna start off with the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. I have been obsessed with this palette. It has the most gorgeous glitters, great pigmentation, great formula. It's really good, definitely worth the splurge. But the dupe that I've seen is the ColourPop 1111 palette. I actually really do like this palette. I've never tested it out in comparison to Makeup by Mario, but we shall see today. The tones look similar. It doesn't look identical, but it looks similar. So let's see what I can come up with. I'm gonna to try to pretty much use very similar tones in each palette. I know they're not identical, but we're gonna try to make it work. So in the Makeup by Mario palette, I'm gonna start off with that soft brown shade first. And by the way, I have all fresh brushes today, so I'm gonna use different brushes for each side of my face, of course. The biggest difference is that this palette does come with a mirror, the one from ColourPop doesn't, but this is a gorgeous palette, by the way. It builds up really nicely. The glitters are my absolute favorite, though. Like, the glitters definitely make this palette, for sure. Then in the ColourPop 1111 side, I'm gonna go in with this soft brown. This one definitely looks a little bit lighter than the one from Makeup by Mario, just first impressions, and even in the pan. So I'm gonna just build this up to get it as close to the side as possible. But hopefully, I think with some of the darker colors, we can really make this very similar. I do really like the ColourPop palette. It's really cute, and it reminds me of just like a date night palette. It's very nice for the price. So yeah, you can see Makeup by Mario is a little bit darker. So I'm gonna just, like I said, build this side up quite a bit so we can get it to be as similar as possible. Next, I'm gonna go in with the pinky tone muted shade in both of the palettes in the ColourPop one and in the Makeup by Mario. That color actually looks very similar in both. So I'm gonna apply those in the crease. I'm gonna use the same brush, by the way, that I was just using and just build that up into my crease. So I definitely think my first impressions is that the Makeup by Mario shades are a bit more vibrant. I feel like the tones are similar in the ColourPop palette, but they're a bit more toned down, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but you have to build them up to get them to be kind of similar to Makeup by Mario. But even when you do, I feel like the tones are slightly lighter and a little bit different. But we're gonna just make it work, keep testing them out. I'm gonna try to blend this out a little bit just to soften it, but yeah, it's a little bit softer. I like this one from ColourPop though. I think this is really pretty. Then I'm gonna go in with that kind of reddish brown in both of the palettes, and I'm gonna apply that just to deepen up the crease a little bit more. I really want these to look as similar as possible. Right now they're not, so I'm gonna use a different brush on both sides. Let's start off with ColourPop. Again, I'm gonna use that color. Switching brushes, I want something a little bit different. I'm gonna take a white haired brush. These are always really good for building up darker shades. And then again, taking a different white haired brush. Let's go in, what was the color? This color up here. Yeah, the Makeup by Mario palette has slightly different tones. It is more pigmented. But then I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown in both palettes just to deepen this up even more. The hardest part about doing dupes videos is just making sure I don't use the opposite brushes. Like I'm keeping track of the brushes that I'm using on the drugstore side versus the high-end side because that's always my biggest thing is that I don't wanna make any mistakes. I wanna keep this all very uniform. Compared to the Makeup by Mario formula, the ColourPop palette is definitely more buildable. It's not as pigmented right off the bat when you are applying the shades. However, it does build up nicely and I really love ColourPop shadows. I think that they are great. They're versatile and they're beginner friendly for sure. Okay, since the ColourPop palette, like I said, is a little bit lighter in tone, I wanna take a little bit of this darker, super dark brown. This is comparable, this brown, to the darkest brown in the Makeup by Mario palette, but even building it up, it's not as dark as this one and I want both eyes to look 
as similar as possible. So I'm gonna just dabble into a little bit of this one to get it a little bit darker like this eye. I'm using again that same brush. The finish of this is a bit different because it has a bit of a glittery finish, but it is really dark, which is what I'm going for. Yeah, and I think that helps. More blending, lots of blending. Blending is key. Okay, this side looks a little bit more kind of like ashy in tone, whereas this has that kind of pinky transition. So let's try to make this side look a little bit more ashy in tone with this shade right here. Okay, gosh, that just ruined the entire eyeshadow look. Okay, hold on. Let's rewind and pretend that I didn't do that. Okay, now we're gonna add the glitter on the lids. So I'm gonna go in with the most similar glitters in the palettes, starting with the ColourPop one first. You know what, just kidding. Let's go with Makeup by Mario first. So that's gonna be this glitter on the bottom. Now, one thing about this palette, like I said, the glitters are amazing. I really, really like them. I've actually never really dabbled into this color. My favorite glitter in the palette is this one right here, but this one is more similar to the one from ColourPop. So I'm gonna just apply this all over my lid. Lid. Oh, okay. This is actually not super glittery like the other shade that I use in the palette. It's more of like a sheen, but it is pretty. It has very tiny little specks of glitter, but it's not as sparkly as the other shade. Let me apply this with my finger. Oh yeah, see this one actually isn't really a glitter color. It has more of a slight sheen with a little bit of yeah, it's actually, no, just kidding. There's no glitter. It's more of like a sparkle, but it's okay. Cause I actually feel like the other one from ColourPop is gonna be pretty similar. So let's try that with a different brush. Another flat concealer brush. Let's see, let's dabble into this color. It's like a little experiment comparing both of these and doing deeps videos in general. So I actually really enjoy doing this, but you know what? It's fine that there isn't a ton of glitter because I have a glitter that we're gonna add to this to really amp it up. And I'm actually really excited to test this dupe out, this next one. Yeah, it's not, it's not identical. I'm gonna use my finger on this side as well. Your finger always does the trick. Or if you want to, you can spray your brush, like I always say, with your favorite setting spray or eye drops. And it definitely just makes it pop a little bit more. Just cleaning up the edges of this a bit with a white. All right, cool. Now let's amp this up because the ColourPop definitely doesn't have the same kind of glittery effects that the one from Makeup by Mario has, but it's okay because I have some glitter here that we're gonna add. So starting with the high-end side, I have the Fenty Diamond Bomb in the shade How Many Carrots. If you know, you know, I use this all the time. This is my favorite glitter to top over any look. It is so beautiful, so reflective, very versatile. It works with literally any eyeshadow or even if you're not wearing any eyeshadow, add a little bit of glitter to your lids. This one is the best, but I got this Lottie London Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. This one is in Frosted. I've actually never tried this one before. I feel like I tried this a while ago on my face, but I don't really use highlighters this intense on my face anymore. I definitely prefer them on the eyes. So let's see if we have a dupe on our hands for the famous Fenty highlighter. By the way, mine looks so dirty because I use it usually with a brush. So that's why it looks like that. She's very loved, but let's try this one out. So let me just show you the Fenty one. You can use it with your finger. It's a very sheer glitter. I mean, you can already see that just took that eyeshadow to the next level. You just need a tiny bit and you can top this over any eyeshadow. It is probably, I think, my favorite product from Fenty for sure. I mean, it's stunning. I'm wiping my finger, by the way. I have some wipes here on hand. Now, let's try Lottie London. Okay, pretty. Oh yeah, that's nice. And it's also buildable just like the Fenty one. We're gonna have to do some swatches here. Oh, that is pretty. That's very sparkly, which is exactly what I'm going for. I think the undertone is slightly different from the one from Fenty, but let's do some swatches and see because it looks actually like this could be a dupe. Okay, start with Lottie London right here. You can see it's just that very sheer reflective glitter, which I love. And then now different finger, let's do Fenty right here. So we have Lottie London and then Fenty. Those look very similar. I actually do think this is a nice dupe. Wow. 
Oh wow, yeah. I think this is honestly a little bit of a better dupe than the ColourPop palette with the Makeup by Mario. I think it's doable, but this is definitely almost spot on, I wanna say, for sure. That looks very pretty on both sides. I feel like I'm wearing gold today and I feel like I need to bring a little bit of gold to this look. Let me take some of this from Makeup by Mario, this golden shade. I'm just gonna add this with my finger kind of over top to make this still sparkly, but it's gonna just be a bit more golden versus silver. Wiping my finger, because I'm gonna use my finger on the other side as well. I'm gonna use this color right here. Yes, just to bring some of that golden touch. There is fallout with both, so it's not really an issue. That's why I always like to do my eyes first, but I think that's as close as it's gonna get. Once the lashes and everything are complete, I think we're gonna be good and hopefully it'll look pretty similar. So let me pop on some lashes and we'll move into the skin. The lashes are on. I use the same lashes for both eyes. Kiss number 11 is one of my faves. I'm gonna start off with primer. For the high-end side, I have the Eavesdrop Lit All Over Glow Enhancer from Fenty Beauty. And then for the drugstore side, I have the Milani Soft Focus Complexion Enhancer. This one is in Golden Glow 02. And the one from Fenty, uh, yeah, this just comes in one shade. So let's start off with Fenty first. I actually don't remember if I've ever used this before. If I did, it might've just been once. So I'm gonna put about that much. I love this packaging, by the way. And I'm just gonna rub this in with my finger. This is kind of like, from what I've seen, like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It gives a really gorgeous glow to the skin. You could also mix this in with your foundation as well. It's very seamless on the skin. It's not glittery too. It just truly enhances your complexion. Oh, that's pretty very pretty not too much you know it just gives a, a nice kind of natural glow from within okay let's go in with milani on the other side i also like this packaging because it comes with a pump i think the color of this is going to be a little bit different oh yeah this is a little bit of a different consistency but kind of similar concept the shade is a little bit tanner than the one from fenty which the one from fenty is more universal this one i believe it comes in three or four different shades but we're gonna go in with foundation anyway so i should be able to make this work the one from milani is actually very pretty as well okay so here we have both milani and then Fenty. I think the Fenty one is definitely more on the subtle side, whereas the one from Milani is a bit more glowy and it just kind of emphasizes pores a little bit more just because it is more intense, but they both give that very similar glowy hydrated look. Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm definitely gearing more towards the Fenty one just because I like how subtle and smooth it looks on the skin, but the one from Milani is also really pretty. We're going to cover it with foundation anyway, so we'll see how the glow looks over top, but very similar effect. Now for foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I actually, I like this foundation, but I don't love the way it wears. I find that it just starts to break up and it doesn't look really good after hours of wear, but it is a really pretty foundation. I have it here, so I figured let's compare it to one of my favorites, ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This is the Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. This is so beautiful, and this is definitely like your skin, but better, and it's hydrating, but not really dewy so let's see how they compare i have the one from charlotte by the way in five neutral this is one of those products that is pretty it's just i don't like the wearability of it but it, it's still pretty like i would still continue using it but i wouldn't repurchase it or anything you know what i mean so i'm gonna just blend this with my brush i think maybe this color will work gives nice coverage though even though it is more of a luminous hydrating foundation. I think that actually looks really good too with that Fenty product underneath. I really like that combo. Cute. Okay. Other side, we're going to do ColourPop. I have this one in Light 70W. I have no idea if this is going to match, but as always, we're going to make it work. Fresh foundation brush for this side. Doesn't feel as thick. Feels a little bit more hydrating, actually. I love this ColourPop foundation. I think this is great for everyday makeup. And I love that you can get it at Ulta. Even Target has it. So it's a good, affordable foundation for sure. And it's not overly hydrating, which is nice. Doesn't feel greasy. And even with that Milani product underneath, I still think it looks really nice. And it gives a kind of healthy glow to the skin. The one from Charlotte is definitely thicker. 
but I think they both gave some nice coverage. Here we have ColourPop on this side. I love that natural dewy finish. I think it actually applied really nicely over top of that Milani Complexion Enhancer. I like that little combo. And then this is Charlotte Tilbury and Fenty. The formula feels a little bit thicker. I think the foundation is pretty, but like I said, I don't really love the way it wears. If I'm being honest, I prefer the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I think even the wearability on my skin is better. And I actually really like this foundation specifically with a pore filling primer. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty is really good with this. It's a nice little combo, but I do think, like I said, it looks really good with the Milani Complexion Enhancer too underneath. So I think they both look pretty good. I don't want to say it's an exact spot on dupe, but it does give a similar effect and it actually feels a little bit more lightweight than the one from Charlotte Tilbury. So in this case, I actually like the affordable option more. Now for concealer, I actually saw this on TikTok and I really love both of these concealers. So I'm excited to test both of these out side by side, but we have the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer versus the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Originally, I felt like this was a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape, Shape Tape, Shape Tape, but let's test it out with the Too Faced Born This Way. I have this one in the color light beige. I think it's going to be a little bit too light. Maybe. No, actually, maybe not. But we'll see. This concealer is really good. It's definitely a good multi-use formula. I like the creaminess of it. And they have some good shades in this as well. The packaging is also, like, fabulous. I love how big it is. So let's blend that in. Definitely gives amazing coverage as well. Okay, that looks really good. Love how it blends, but I also really like the CoverGirl concealer. This is super creamy. It's a little bit thicker. It dries fast, so I recommend working pretty quickly with this. And I have this one in Golden Natural, by the way. Golden, yes, Golden Natural. It's a little bit lighter than Fresh Brush, by the way. <laughs> a little bit lighter than the one from Too Faced, but it gives coverage. I love this concealer. I think if you prefer a more creamy matte formula, definitely recommend this one from CoverGirl. It is so affordable. I feel like it's really underrated, to be honest, too. I don't see a lot of people talking about it, but it's so good. You just gotta work quickly with it. That's the only thing. I think the one from CoverGirl is a little bit thicker than Too Faced, but I think they both give very similar coverage. Let me know what you guys think, but I like them both. They both have a very creamy finish. The one from Too Faced definitely doesn't dry as fast, but it still looks really good, and both are very creamy formulas. Okay, cute. Now, contour. I'm gonna do, I actually should have did that before concealer, but it's all good. I'm gonna go in with the high-end side. I have the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. I really like this one, and this one is in Happy Soul. This is so creamy. I mean, the way that this blends, it's magical. And for the affordable side, I have the bronze stick from ColourPop. This, I feel like, is the closest thing I have found to Rare Beauty. I love the way these blend. It's literally like magic on the skin. And you can apply these directly on the skin, or you can take a brush and apply it from there to the skin. I think regardless, they blend really nicely and they don't pick up any of your foundation underneath, which is one of my favorite things. So the colors might be a little bit different, but I think the formulas are incredible and I love these both. So don't make me choose because I really do enjoy both formulas. I kind of just alternate between both, but I think they both give a really nice chisel to the cheeks. Two different brushes. We have the e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush and the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion brush. Let's start off with the ColourPop side first. I didn't use too much, but this is a buildable formula. Let's do a little bit more. Again, you can apply this directly onto your brush as well, which is nice. I love it. See how nice that is? And it's just so seamless. Other side, we have Rare Beauty. This is also really nice though too. Love them both. This one's a bit more warm, but it's still a nice color. The biggest difference is just the undertone as far as the color, but I think the formula is almost identical. Not gonna lie, it's pretty spot on. I have two different powders. I'm gonna start off with the Hourglass Vanish Translucent Setting Powder. I finally got a big size of this. This is in my top 10. It's gorgeous, truly is like a bale on the skin. I'm gonna use a powder puff on this side. Let's blend out these creases. I absolutely love this powder. It also, when it goes on, it is very smooth and it's still lightweight. It doesn't feel like a cakey powder. I think it is beautiful for the under eye area. Like it is just to die for. I love this formula. Now for the other side, this is another one of my favorite loose powders at the drugstore. It's the Instant Finish Blurring Loose Powder from LA Girl. I chose this one because it has kind of a similar like matte finish and this is a talc-free loose powder and the one from Hourglass is also talc-free. 
let me get another powder puff this one right here is the rosen ben powder puff i use it all the time i have a couple of them it is one of my favorites because the shape is just perfection now this is going to be a little bit lighter i think than the one from hourglass but yeah because it has a bit more color but what I like to do is pretty much just press this back and forth until the powder is completely blended and meshed into the skin. And see, eventually it kind of just disappears when you keep on pressing the product in back and forth. I love this one from LA Girl. I'm only going to apply those on my under eyes because I have a press powder for both. For the high inside, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder in One Fair. I've talked about this dupe before, but it really is so good. But this is a great powder for setting your makeup removes any shine as well it just gives a really nice soft finish for the drugstore side i'm a big fan of the nyx can't stop won't stop powder you can see very much used and loved this one is in light medium this is the closest thing i have found to charlotte tilbury because it is gonna give you that matte finish it's matte without being too matte you know like it's not cakey it's not drying i love this for touch-ups as well now for blush. I'm excited about this. This is a newer blush. I just tested this out. It's from Hourglass. It's in Sublime Flush. Gorgeous, kind of pinky, corally with a bit of a natural sheen. And then for the drugstore side, we have the Pure Nude Baked Blush from Essence. And this one is in Cool Coral. The shades are a little bit different, but I feel like on the skin, they're going to look similar. So let's try out Hourglass. I've already used this blush and it's very pretty. I love it because it just brings the skin back to life with the blush. See how nice it just goes on? Very smooth formula, buildable, and it has a very natural glowy sheen. It's kind of like that glow from within, so I love it. It's not necessarily like a baked product, but it's just the most subtle glow. Now, let's do essence on this side. These are pigmented. See, these also kind of have that glowy finish. I feel like the glow on the Essence one is a bit more intense, whereas the one with Hourglass is a bit more subtle. Okay, I see. Yeah, so I think the glow shows up a bit more on the Hourglass side. Or, just kidding, on the Essence side. I'm going to build up the one from Hourglass because it looks a bit more natural. To finish the eyes, I'm going to do a eyeliner on the waterline. I have the Pillow Talk liner from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a really pretty burgundy liner. It is super creamy, pigmented. Adds a nice pop. I feel like this would look gorgeous if you have green eyes as well. It would just really... Or even blue eyes too. Any eye color, but... The dupe that I have is the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Burnt Sienna. I love these. They're super creamy as well, long wearing. It's actually a little bit darker than Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but it has that kind of similar vibe. So let's start with this on this side. It's like that reddish burgundy brown. And this is such a nice addition to your waterline because it just gives a little bit of sultriness, a little bit of smokiness, but it's just a different take versus just a brown or black liner. And these have good lasting power, lots of great colors too. But one of you guys actually told me to try this and compare it. If I'm being honest, the NYX one feels more creamy. I actually think I like the NYX one more. This one actually goes on my eyes more red versus the one from NYX is more of like the deeper a burgundy shade which i think is a bit more flattering okay now i'm gonna do a little inner corner highlight i'm gonna take the most similar lighter shades in both palettes and pop that in there let's do this one For mascara, I was looking through my collection and these just, the wands are super similar. And I actually prefer the drugstore version to this. I have the Tower 28 mascara. I don't think this is a bad mascara. I just, I think it's okay. You know, it's not life changing, but the e.l.f. Lash and Roll reminds me so much of it, but I like this one more. I think this is great for length. It's just overall a good layering mascara. Let me show you guys the wands. They are very, very similar. I know that the e.l.f. one is supposed to be a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. I don't have that one, but you see the wands on these? They're very similar. It's not a clumpy formula, which I also really like, and I think it's good for length or layering, like I said. So I'm going to put this on my lower lashes. And both of these have a more dry formula, which I prefer. I'm going to take a Q-tip and fix that. I'll do that in a minute. 
Let's do Tower 28 on this side. Now we're almost done. Let's do a lip combo here. Very curious about this one. I kind of just, I was looking through my lip liners and I feel like these are very similar. So I'm going to start off with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Pencil in Sandy Beige. Kind of like that warm neutral brown. These are so creamy. And I fill my lips in a little bit on this side. And then for the drugstore side, I have the NYX Align Loud Lip Pencil in Global Citizen. Another favorite of mine. Kind of similar vibe. Let's see. I've never compared these side by side. Okay, it's a little bit lighter. But similar in tone, right? Okay, I actually like that. I like both of them. Ooh, that's a good dupe. Mm, I like that one. That's very, very similar. The NYX is like slightly lighter, but I mean... You can barely tell. Okay, I like that dupe a lot. These from NYX are great too because they are actually like transfer proof, very long wearing. One of my favorite lip liners at the drugstore. But the one from Huda is really nice too. I just love that brown neutral tone. It's not too orangey. It's not too cool tone. It's just the perfect warm brown. Then I have the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump from Tarte in Cherry Blossom versus Flower Beauty Plump Lip Gloss Stick in... What color is this? Sizzle. They're both like that pinky, light, neutral nude. Let's start with the chart first. They both have uh, also the similar packaging. These are pretty. They're really glossy. They can get kind of messy though, which is the only thing I don't like about them, but I'm trying to like blend this in without getting it on the other side. It's pretty though. Then let's do Flower Beauty. Okay, this one's a little bit lighter. It's a pretty color though. A bit lighter in tone, similar kind of vibe though. I think with the lip liner, it's not a huge difference. They're both like a, that light pinky nude. The one from Tarte is a bit more pink and it has a bit more plumping, like I can feel the mintiness of it, but the one from Flower Beauty feels really nice and I like that they both have a glossy finish to them. Last but not least, let's set the makeup. I actually really love this dupe. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually love this spray. The only thing is I've noticed the spritzer on it can get stuck sometimes. That's the only thing and it has a very strong scent, which I know not everybody likes, but I still think it's a really good setting spray. But the dupe is the Conceal and Define Infinite Setting Spray from Makeup Revolution. I have been loving this spray. This is so good. It gives a very comfortable matte finish to the skin, and I feel like it is, it's very, very close to Charlotte Tilbury, and I actually prefer the mister on the one from Makeup Revolution, and it's like 10 bucks. So let's start with this one first on this side. Also has some fragrance to it, but I feel like it's not as strong as Charlotte Tilbury. And we're done. So, so this is the completed full face of dupes. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Some of these are not identical, but I think they're nice alternatives if you want a similar effect. You guys know I love drugstore and affordable makeup, but I also love the high-end side in this case. I think on both sides, there's great products. I do prefer some affordable options, but I also do prefer some high-end options. So let's go through everything quickly and do some quick speed reviews. Eyeshadow palettes. For me, I don't think the ColourPop eyeshadow palette is an exact dupe for Makeup by Mario. I think the tones are similar. I can see where they're going with it, but I don't think it's identical. I do prefer the Makeup by Mario palette. The glitters in here are just incredible. So beautiful and I adore this palette. I've been loving it. So I think if you're going to splurge, this one is totally worth it. But I love the ColourPop palette. Super cute. Great for date night if you're into these tones. They're definitely, like I mentioned, beginner friendly, more buildable, less pigmented than Makeup by Mario, but you can definitely still make it work. I would go out in public right now and I don't think anybody would be able to tell that I'm wearing different products on both sides of my face. So both great palettes, but I do prefer the Makeup by Mario. Let me know what you guys think. As far as the eyeliners that I applied on my waterline, we have Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury and the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Burt Sienna. I prefer the one from NYX. I think it is more creamy i prefer the tone it's just in my opinion better so in this case just get the drugstore don't get the pillow talk liner you don't need it same with the mascaras i prefer the elf lash and roll i think the formulas are super similar i like the wands and i just i prefer this one for some reason i don't know something about it i just love it it's under ten dollars and i think it's a great layering mascara or for your lower lashes so i would say also go with the drugstore you don't need the tower 28 one fenty versus lottie london this dupe actually impressed me the most besides a lip combo which we'll get into but love this dupe i think this is a case where honestly it's pretty 50 50 for me i love them both i'm 
still gonna continue to use the Fenty Diamond Balm. I don't think this is exactly identical, but I have to say it is pretty darn close. And if you want something similar to Fenty, but you don't wanna splurge, the Lottie London is a great option. But if you do splurge on the one from Fenty, I think it is beautiful and you won't be disappointed. So I love them both and I'll continue to use both as well. As far as the complexion, I honestly prefer the Fenty Ease Drop All Over Glow Luminizer versus Milani. I like that the glow is subtle, but it's still really smooth. It doesn't emphasize texture. The one from Milani is a bit more intense, but it's still beautiful if you want a complexion enhancer. This one from Milani is it. I do like the packaging and how it comes in different shades. Maybe I'll try out the lighter shade and see how it looks, but in this case, I also, I think both are great products, but I do prefer the one from Fenty. As far as the complexion, you guys already know, I prefer the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I think this wears better on my skin. I like how natural it is, but it still gives really good coverage. It's very comfortable. It's smooth. It's lightweight. It's a great, affordable foundation. The one from Charlotte Tilbury, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite and not something that I would repurchase. I just don't like the way this wears throughout the day, but it does look beautiful upon initial application. It's just, I prefer the one from ColourPop. Concealers is tough because I actually really like both of these, but I will say, I feel like the one from Too Faced looks a little bit smoother, but both of these do give great coverage. They're very versatile and creamy. The one from CoverGirl is a bit thicker. It dries faster, so that's the only thing. But this is the case also where I feel like either or, you won't be disappointed. It just depends on what you like. But I will continue to use both. And I love this color, by the way, in light beige from Too Faced. This is really good. So love both of these. The contour sticks, this is also the case where they're 50-50. I will continue to use both. But if you don't want to splurge on Rare Beauty, ColourPop is a great option. And it's going to give you pretty much almost the same exact effect as Rare Beauty. Creamy, easy to blend, buildable formula love love both as far as blushes hourglass ambient in sublime flush versus essence pure nude baked blush to be honest i prefer hourglass i think it just gives a more smooth seamless finish the one from essence is pretty it definitely has more of that glowiness to it so if you prefer something more subtle go with hourglass if you like a more glowy cheek go with essence i think they're both very pretty but i do prefer hourglass i think if you splurge on those you won't be disappointed this is gorgeous but i also do like the one from essence it's just a little bit more more glowy so it's going to enhance a bit more texture or anything that you have on your cheeks both very pretty but i'm going to go with hourglass in this case hourglass veil translucent powder versus la girl instant finish i love the la girl one because it definitely gives a little bit more brightness and it is very smooth i do prefer the hourglass powder just something about this is next level smooth if you don't want to get the big one they do have a mini version which will last you a while as well but i am clearly i'm obsessed with this that's why i got the big one but this is really good i love the la girl one though i think if you do do want to get an affordable towel free powder this one is really nice and it does again give a little bit more of a brightness and it has more color than the one from hourglass but i do prefer the one from hourglass but i will continue to use my la girl powder because i do love this this is tough for me nyx versus charlotte tilbury clearly i love both of these i kind of just alternate between what i'm feeling for the day but i think these are both also the case where if you get either one you won't be disappointed they're great for touch-ups great for setting love setting sprays as much as i love the charlotte tilbury spray i would say if you want to splurge i actually have other favorite high-end setting sprays over this one so i would say you can't go wrong with this one from makeup revolution it's 10 bucks it's really good it gets the job done lip liners i really enjoy both of these this is actually another one of my favorite dupes of the day the nyx liner in global citizen is very close to sandy beige from huda beauty love both of these formulas and i think they're super similar so if you don't want to splurge I think NYX has some beautiful options. NYX in general has amazing lip products and you have to get though the line loud lip liners. They're so good. But yeah, I like Huda Beauty. This is also the case where either one, whichever one you go with, you won't be disappointed. As far as the lip plumping glosses, this is another dupe that impressed me. I love these from Flower Beauty and I do feel a little bit more of that minty plumpiness. So I think this is another really great dupe. I'm not a huge fan of these from Tarte. I don't think they're bad, but I just don't reach for them that often. I think they're okay. A little bit too overhyped in my opinion. So I do feel like this is the case where you can just get the Flower Beauty one. It's so pretty. Not the same exact color but very similar especially with lip liner you cannot even barely tell a difference so that officially completes this dupes video let me know what you guys think and let me know if there's any other dupes that you want me to test out but i'm very impressed with these i would definitely leave the house right now and like i said nobody would be able to tell that i'm wearing different products on both sides of my face i love the drugstore side i love the high-end side i think there are a lot of great products on both sides also don't feel obligated to get high-end makeup you can still get a beautiful look with affordable products that's i think the 
the beauty of doing these dupes video is just to show you that yeah things might not be identical but you can get a similar effect at a much cheaper price and that's okay but if you want to splurge some of these are worth it thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and i cannot wait to see you very soon in my next one bye